Article 3, Section 1. The judicial power of the United States shall be vested in one Supreme Court and in such inferior courts as the Congress may from time to time obtain and establish. Judges of the Supreme and inferior courts shall hold their offices during good behavior and shall, at stated times, receive for their services a compensation which shall not be diminished during their continuance in office. Can anybody tell me what article and section number I just read from my Constitution? Where's yours? It's in my pocket, next to my heart. Okay, hold and tatted here with an uh, update on my wild weekend in the zombie man zone. A little bit of uh, what I'm going to get done, a couple things I have to uh, show people. And uh, without further ado, using my uh, gavel obtained from when I was chair of the Maryville Village Planning Committee, and we put the kibosh to stuff, we'll start this meeting. this stuff away as I go to, so I remember that I've got it all. So the first thing I want to do is uh, throw shout outs as far and as loud and as high and as long as I can for Mr. Zombie Man and family. His uh, zombie tackle to team is based out of Arizona City, Arizona. That's uh, between me and Tucson, so it would be heading south. And uh, I showed up there on Friday afternoon, pretty much with a 45 to, at the most, hour and a half notice that he was going to have some uh, old gopher spending the weekend with him. He opened up his arms, came all right on in. He says, bring what you want, we'll take care of the rest. And I kind of deemed this my air weapon weekend. He had plenty of firearms, firepower, ammo, and all that out there, but uh, I come in through under the radar and I brought all my air toys like uh, slingshots. And uh, this goes out to Victor, the Russian. I told you these little white balls that I had here were supposed to be shattering balls. Well, no, they're hard as hell hunting balls. What I was thinking of were these paintball pellets that went into the blowgun that we uh, pretty much pulverized his head. See, here's my Headley No More. Got some darts in there. Well, I took that down there, and uh, I'm telling you people, you want a, a fun in-home entertainment. Here I was, 56, soon to be 57, a young man, zombie man, quite vitality and uh, young, he's, you know, in the middle. And then he had his daughter, five, six years old. She was shooting this at that head and hitting it just like anybody else could. All you had to do is teach her how to wear it would just point where that finger goes, that's where the dart goes. And she didn't miss the head after that, so I'm waiting to see a zombie man's video. He's got a trick up his sleeve he's going to pull and show off some of his uh, editing skills on that. So I brought this back home because it's, I'm gonna teach my seven-year-old this summer inside when we can't go anywhere with uh, Miss uh, Headley. Oops, sorry, dear. Yeah, I got a story about the crossbows. Don't let me forget that, people. <laughs> Here's my Miss Headley no more. She's target numero uno for that. So that's what I was saying, Victor, these, they smash, they're paintballs, they put marks. So this is what I was thinking, not these white ones. These don't shatter, I guess they'll just knock the shit out of a rabbit and visit and all that stuff for you to uh, hunt with and you can go back and get them. They don't uh, disappear because they're bright white. You can't mi mix them up with rabbit pellets or anything else. So uh, yeah, I was mistaken on that guy. We'll have to get together and then paintball each other, I guess. So, uh, I wanted to apologize for that. And then while we're on the same person, we uh, tried to break in my crossbow. And uh, we managed to break every single bolt 
that we had our hands on there. I, I did have four of these. I got three. I did have six of these, and I've got, well, you want to call that one <laughs> a bolt. That more looks like a excited Catholic point. So, but that's not the only thing here. See, I had went and, uh, How's my butt look? Pretty nice? I lost a little weight. It's not flabby. I went to Cabela's a few hours before I left to go to Zombie Man's and bought this uh, $40 Target. They had a sign on there saying uh, $10 off, $29. So I go, okay. Went to the counter and the manager and the cashier was there. and She had scanned it and I says, oh, there was a sign back there that said I'm supposed to get 10 bucks off. And she started to say something, but the manager says, well, you're a nice guy. He goes, okay, give him the 10 bucks off. So went from 39 to 29 when she scanned it. And then with him giving me the nice guy veteran uh, $10 discount, got down to 19. So this heavy duty uh, phone case was uh, 12 something. So I picked it up. So the extra amount of money I would spend for this, I actually got my phone case to go with it. So. That's another one. Took that down there. And uh, as you can see, the target looks pretty damn good because I think it was only hit half a dozen times, if that, before the store using the packing mechanism I bought because my ass sure isn't strong enough to do 175 pounds the whole time. You can see how easy it is. If you come up here real close, honey, for a second and focus on this little part of it. Beam. See this one's nice, perfect straight camouflage. This one you can see the delamination coming apart. It went crack! And we were more worried about Victor getting hit in the face with this breaking piece of shit of a crossbow. And uh, I'm going to take his ass back to Big Five and see what they have to say about it. But. Yeah, not even a dozen fucking bolts put through the damn thing, and the shit starts delamming. And it's not like we were reefing on this, we pulled it just like they were supposed to, so, you know, fucking piece of shit, Japanese crap. And, uh, so, anyway, the crossbow broke, I went and I got the wrist rocket, and, uh, this little thing here, from one of them, uh, uh, knife distributors. This one here held up the rubber and all that. We were shooting pretty good with it and uh, felt all right. This one, this was the same rubbers that were on it when I bought this two years ago and my grandson and I haven't really shot it. It sat in my bug out bag all this time. So you go and grab your bug out bag to get the fuck out of Dodge and you go to zero in on some protein, a rabbit, a bird or something. And this damn rubber got so deteriorated that it either hits you back in the face or you shoot it and it goes and the damn bearing just barely flops over onto the ground. So keep track of anything that can deteriorate, rubber, stuff like that. And you see it broke as it is. So, And I have the heavy duty ones here still in the package, but hey, did that defeat the purpose? It, whether it's on or in the package, it's still going to get old. So. Don't think just because it's in the package, it's going to stay good forever. Okay, that was them air toys. And then once we went back in the house, we got the blowgun out for the rest of the night. And uh, everybody was happy shooting that because they was able to do it. Line it up down the hallway to the back there with the garbage can and put Headley, or his guy, he has a beard on his, so... Uh, Kind of impaled him for a while. And then on Friday night when I got there, he uh, took me out into the desert to uh, chase uh, rattlesnakes. And if any of you guys have already uh, witnessed that video that I put out, all I can say is, is disgusting. Ew! I've never seen that done before. I can usually knock the guts out of a goddamn snake, especially a rattler after a few hundred of them and not think twice about it. How I nicked that little piece up there, it was just maybe in my excitement of being on TV and all over the world and my fans and all that, but I nicked that little sack and 
that's when them things just started to erupt out of there. And if you listen real careful, as soon as I see that eruption there, I said, oh, that's something about worms. You see, I just got up and left. I had nothing to do with it whatsoever anymore. So that put the guy boss to Friday night. Saturday, we hung around for a while, chilled out, and uh, met up with a lot of his crew. Had a couple of brewskis, along with my medications. I didn't go without, but I didn't go crazy either. And uh, so we got to bed early Saturday night because Sunday morning we were getting up early to go out in the desert and do some rabbit hunting, quail hunting, whatever the hell moves would be hunting. So uh, I actually powered up my GPS then and did a track uh, in a couple uh, zones out there. I took the landmarks uh, on it where uh, he, uh, Zombie Man got his first rabbit. So. Uh, I'll be trying to put that on there. The other things, I was just taking a few of mine, the one that, you know, I, I made there, and uh, my MK, it's an old timer, here's another uh, shark finger, a lot of people showed interest in that. Uh, the Gerber that I got for Christmas, and uh, right here, Nevada, gives me another quick, easy open. All I gotta do is touch it with my finger. I don't even have to use my thumb. And it's got desert cam, uh, digital camo on there, USMC. So uh, that'll go uh, into a prestigious spot. I found a couple things in the desert. And I'm going to, uh, well, here's the kind of hunk of quartz we get. You guys get chips back there. So here's a freaking hunk of quartz. You can knock the edge off of any kind of uh, ax head and make sparks. So <laughs> we got a lot of it out here. I found a nice piece of wood. I want to try to do some carving or something on, kind of, you know, imitation rabbit stick or something. And then uh, I found this bone out in the middle of the freaking desert, just right along there. And uh, I'm going to time my dog and see how long it takes her to devour this thing. She can usually go through a bone like the ones uh, you get for uh, bone carving. Yeah, I get these there at the pet shop and then I cut them in half and use them for the bone. I do the, like this one here, see it's an Indian head. I do hooks and other stuff on there. So, so I'm gonna give this to her and take it. That uh, about wraps up on Sunday afternoon. They had a barbecue. They were uh, playing a game called Cornhole. And I was in the nice uh, cool avenue of uh, his office shop slash my den and got the original first Foo Rider and a skull that's going to be their uh, logo or whatever for jackets of that riding club not a motorcycle gang but uh, something everybody can uh, associate with if you ride if you grow roving and uh, you've been injured and you still ride well you're still a true rider so they accepted me right in I'm going to uh, be doing an update in this next video about the Dynorama and the rules and uh, the other prize that's going to go with that because this is going to be a team effort. And uh, I'll be able to tell you that this, when you looked in the video of my uh, Chevy doing drifting, my camouflage truck, this is what's under the hood except just a little bigger, Chevy 350. And uh, I made this and then made that. I had the same thing in my El Camino. Then uh, as I was uh, packing up, Zombie Man, he uh, bestows upon the old and tatted one machine here for parts. Then we have another machine here that uh, is working, just need fine tune. There's another one that just needs a little wing nut replaced it, one of the wings broken off. And then we have this uh, monster. Come on up here and see this one, dear. Gargoyle head, skull for the, the trim on the tips, and big old skull on there. The next one I like is this black one, looks like hammered metal. It's got nice rubber uh, coil covers. This blue one kind of looks dragony or whatever, you know, the sweeps and the metal flake. That's 
pretty nice. These are all up and running machines. And this one has a pretty cool zip fan kind of uh, Moffitt on the frame. And it's a couple coils and then a few other uh, screws and uh, nuts that you can use on that. But he gave them to me as well. So uh, all in all, it was quite the uh, experience and adventure an old man would like to uh, have every couple of years. I probably couldn't handle it if it was uh, closer than that, but uh, thank you, Zombie Man, and uh, we live to tell another tale. This is Old and Tatted, saying, until the next time, keep an eye out, you never know what I'll do. Thanks.